What's going on, everyone? Um, so I'm making this video to to a lot of requests. Um, I made a 16-star example run for beginners a while ago, uh, and it was really well received. A lot of people really liked it, um, and one of the 70-star ones. So uh, I did this run. It's a 52-42, I believe, um, and there's like basically no tricks done. Like it's pretty much all beginner stuff. Um, really will showcase the importance of movement in this game. Um, I'm also got commentating this one, so um, basically if there's something that I think, uh, you know, maybe isn't completely obvious just by watching, I'm going to try and point it out in the commentary. Um, I'm actually going to point out right off the bat here, uh, if you look at these text boxes, I don't mash at all. I just roll my thumb from A to B. Um, I recommend pretty much not mashing anything in this game. Um, on average you'll actually be faster and it really is a lot easier than mashing just to time things believe it or not once you get used to it um, I don't go for lack to skip or bomb clip um, now as a beginner yeah that angle there was pretty nice as well um, yeah I don't go for lack to skip or bomb clip basically I'm not saying you shouldn't go for them as a beginner but I am saying that you shouldn't reset over failing them and this is just kind of to showcase that, that, you know, despite losing time at the start, it's really not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. Um, I guess another thing I'll point out too right off the bat, if you look when I roll out, I'm pressing both A and B. Um, that's personally a lot better. Um, you know, if maybe you press one of the buttons too early, the other one will let you roll out. Uh, you'll notice after each star, I'm going to not save and continue. Um, that saves a little bit of time because every time you save, the game legs a little bit. So you can actually not save faster. Also, just kind of on the note of not mashing things, you'll notice when I enter stars, all I press is A and B. Uh, if you learn to time those, you're honestly faster on average. And uh, it requires next to no thought once you get used to it. Um, I'm doing half cycle for 100 coin. This was kind of debatable in my head over whether I should have done a half cycle or one cycle slower for the beginners. Um, I opted to go for half cycle because with a bit of practice, I think any beginner can definitely get this cycle. It's definitely a good start to practice a lot. Um, when I mention cycles, I'm talking about that spinning plank, so notice I get there when it's the other way around. Um, so if I went as a, a cycle slower, you'd get there sort of when I long jumped off there. Uh, and if you're a, a cycle faster, then you'd get there before. But uh, with, with decent movement, half cycle really isn't a problem. I, I had a lot of time to spare there and still made the cycle. So with this star, um, I omitted the fence clip. 
Um, but what I did do is if you long jump up there, it takes a bit of time to get used to that turnaround. Um, the big thing is just before you jump, you really have to make sure that Mario turns around in that semicircle. So don't try to like completely cut your joystick from one direction to the other. Um, so yeah, just pay close attention to the uh, input display and you'll see what happens. You do it twice, so it's definitely, I'd say, important to learn um, with a little bit of practice, pretty much uh, anyone can get that turnaround down. Um, it was kind of tough for me to decide what's a beginner strat and what's not. Because obviously I wanted to try and show that you can get a decent time without super advanced strats. But, you know, I, I didn't want to make the strats so easy that, you know, it's kind of like your first time playing, you can do all them. These do take a little bit of practice, absolutely. But uh, pretty much any strat here, you can get down really as a beginner you should with a bit of practice be able to do all of them um obviously i didn't do alice um honestly i wouldn't recommend going for alice till you get a pretty decent time um if you do it quickly it saves maybe like four seconds so if you fail it once you're losing time over just using the owl i know alice is cool i loved practicing it as a beginner but Depending on your goal, you know, if you're trying to improve as quickly as possible, there's definitely better things to put your time into as a beginner. So that wraps up Womps. Um, 631 with none of the tricks. Um, definitely, obviously, could be faster. Like, if you do Bomb Clip and Lakitu Skip, and then just do, like, Womps the same, you can probably get, I would guess, like, 605. Maybe even a little faster. So this split honestly is pretty much the same as the advanced until Dark World. Um, I'm pretty sure I actually messed up Dark World in this run pretty badly on top of doing be the beginner strats. Um, I think I get late cycle. Um, the movement I was trying to show off you can get normal cycle with. Um, I'll kind of explain the cycles once we get closer to it. But uh, yeah, as far as the slide goes, like that skip um, is one of the first things people always learn. It's really cool. And then flying, you can't really do beginner strats flying. You just try and cut your corners close to go fast. Um, if you're not too comfortable with that, obviously it, it does take some time to improve at flying. But um, I did go for the two coins at the start, uh, the twins as they can be called. Because honestly, I think it's faster to go for them and fail than to just not even go for them. And there's no there's no harm out of it. Oh yeah, I missed that rollout there. I was going to try and show that off. Um, to roll out into this second star here, all you have to do is wait for Mario to go, like basically hit the shadow of the first star. And then you just roll out and go neutral at the same time. And he's going to land right under that box. It's kind of hard to explain because I actually didn't do it in this run. But... But yeah, with flying you to see, you're, I'm cutting the corners close, like I'm turning before I get to the coins. And then just kind of trying to have a good parabola between each uh, each set of coins. Definitely takes a bit of practice. That clip you definitely don't have to go for, I actually, I wasn't even intending to there, I just kind of ended up doing it. But uh, yeah, so we're going to go into Dark World now. Um, I actually mess up, but all the strats are the same, like the part I messed up isn't gonna be any worse at showcasing what strats I use um, basically I, I wait for the flame uh, and you can still get normal cycle without too much trouble obviously take some practice this, this stage requires movement to get good at as opposed to to strats but this is definitely another stage I'd really recommend practicing as a beginner it's it's actually a lot of fun and uh, it's pretty movement intensive for a beginner so yeah, right here is where I mess up. I uh, jumped on the slope and failed the triple jump twice. But I'm pretty sure I still get late cycle. Which loses about 8 seconds. Um, the cycles we're talking about, those square things that are to my left now, basically they, they rotate and by getting late cycle that means that I was basically 2 cycles away from what would be a fast one. Those long jumps and double jumps um, definitely takes a bit to get comfortable with the angles, but without uh, 
too much trouble, you definitely can get used to that. Luckily got a Bowser dance here. So there's a 10% chance of him dancing there, and it makes it a little bit quicker to hit the throat. Um, it saves a very small amount. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but... Uh, Always nice to get. Makes the throw a little easier, too, because you're closer to the bomb. So I got a 10-34 uh, key one. Obviously, if I if I didn't get late cycle there, uh, it probably would have been about a 10-30, because it's about four seconds a cycle. So I did opt to do Sky Jump. Um, I mean, this strat, you pretty much have to go for it. Like, it's in terms of speedrunning. Um, if you fail it, obviously the backup is just to go up the mountain there and then fly over. But doing Sky Jump is on the way to that. And it's definitely one of the tricks that all the beginners can and do learn right away. Um, so in Cool Cool Mountain... I think this stage went all right in this run. I, I This took me two or three attempts to get this run, so I know there was one of them I messed up CCM really badly. I don't think it was this one though. We'll see. I know I messed up every star in one of them, so. No, this looks good, so. That penguin grab. Um, this trick actually is surprisingly easy if you've never done it. Um, all you have to do is steer Mario, like with your joystick. There's there's no jumping or anything involved. Um, and then wall kicks will work as next. Um, I think I messed this up a bit because I'm actually not used to the beginner strat for this. It's been so long since I've done it. I think I misjudged a wall kick or something. We'll see here. Yeah, I bonk there, but uh, backed it up pretty quickly. Not too big of a deal. Um, I'll talk a bit about the route as well. There are different routes that you can do for this category. Um, I opted for the one that I think is the most beginner friendly. Um, the only exception that people might take to this is that I am doing TikTok Clock 100 coin in this. Um, you can see once we get there, you'll see I'm... I broke it down and I did it pretty simply in a way that is safer and it may be a little bit slower on average, but it is a star that's worth practicing. Um, and I, th I think it's, I think it's just good to do that star as a beginner. Um, it is tough. It, any star at the end of the game is pretty tough, but, uh, with some practice, just like anything else, you can definitely get it down. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll get to that later. I'm doing CCM 17 because um, you don't have to race the penguin. So you're spawning the star outside of the slide. Um, with CCM 18, if you miss too many coins on the slide, um, you have to redo the entire penguin race again. So I like this one better for beginners. Um, I got one safety red, which allows you to miss three coins. Um, so the red is kind of hard to explain now, but earlier... Um, I dropped down onto it from way above when I was outside. Um, if you skip that red, then you can miss one on the slide. So it's up to you what you think you're comfortable with. I wanted to show off the red. So 1410 CCM. Uh, that's honestly not too bad considering the strats that I'm using. Um, I think if I, if I really did want to grind out these strats, I could probably get a 51 with them. There definitely are mistakes in this room. Uh, I think I missed a throw at the end as well, like things like that, but all in all, I figured it, it was good enough to kind of just showcase a run that a beginner could do, um, strat-wise. Um, I took this star pretty safe, like, I know this one's tough on beginners, but I did all, uh, you know, pretty safe things here, easy. Especially, uh, you'll see with the fight here, 
Um, if you watch like a pro do this fight, it's a lot different, but honestly this isn't, I guess, that slow in terms of strats, and if you have good movement you're not going to lose a ton to this, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I re-enter this stage in a pretty advanced way, and I never practiced, like, a, an easier way to do it, so that was the result. Um, ideally you'd want to land right beside the boo and then just ground pound him or something. Um, actually one thing I should point out too, um, so right there what I did was called a buffered kick at the start of that last room. Um, basically if you hold A and then just press B and you don't have much speed, you can do a small kick every time. And it makes things a lot easier. Um, you'll see in LOL, I'll be doing another one. Uh, and actually in SSL, I'll point out uh, when it's about to happen. And you can take a look at the input display. But it's definitely a good, good thing to get used to doing. And they're actually faster than pressing A and B at the same time to do a quick kick. Very slightly, but it is. So now we're going into Shifting Sandland. I uh, didn't do Pillarless or anything like that. Um, so just riding the shell. Um, when you're taking the shell, uh, I think I actually break mine in this. I think it was this run. But nonetheless, um, you just want to make sure the hitbox for each of the pillars is pretty much right in the center. So you want to make sure that you ride over the center of each pillar. If you're on the very edge, it's not going to count. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I break the shell here, but I back it up pretty well. It's kind of good to show the backup. If you don't break your shell, you basically just ride your shell to the top. But you have to purposely go a little bit slow, or else you'll bonk on the top of the pyramid still. So up next here is a buffered kick. You'll see at the start I'll be holding A. And then just pressing B to do that little kick at the start. Um, when I run up this pillar there, notice I ran up the right half. Um, that's very important. Um, that's what stops the fly guy there from either being really close or being really far away. Uh, if you go up the right side there, he'll pretty much always be in the, in the right spot for you to long jump off of him. And then this star here takes a bit of practice. Um, if you just do the camera I do at the start, C left, C down, you can just hold straight left pretty much until the part of your triple jump where you dive. Definitely carrying that momentum takes a bit of practice, but just pulling that off isn't, uh, isn't too hard. Okay, so with LOL, um, I start with the bullies. I think I get bullied here, actually. Uh, we'll see here. Yeah, so I do a little bit, but I back it up quick. Um, I guess I'll kind of talk about how the bullies work. So if you hit a bully, like whether you punch them, you kick them, you ground pound, or even if you just jump on them, um, they're going to go in whatever direction you're facing. So you want to make sure that you're facing down there, and then a ground pound like that will usually get them all to go. But if you noticed when I was in the lava and coming back up, all I did was hold down, and then that made the other bully go into the lava. So it makes it a lot easier to back up when you do that. Same with this bully, you're going to notice I'm going to side flip down, and then that'll just send him right off the thing. Uh, you're going to notice too, when I re-enter LOL, I think I, I tried to mix it up, but if you slide kick, so I long jumped into LOL there, that's slightly slower than doing a slide kick. I did a bit of both, so that was another buffered kick there, makes it a lot easier to space that. Um, 
there's kind of two different beginner ways to go into the volcano. So I think I did one of each. I wanted to tr show them both off, and it's kind of up to you to see what you prefer. But yeah, if you slide kick back into LOL, it's slightly faster, but a little bit more can go wrong. You can either bonk or dance, so it's up to you. See, I slide kicked there, so I wanted to show them both off. Um, yeah, so here I'm doing another way to get into the volcano. And it's up to you. Whichever you prefer, I guess, uh, as a beginner, either one works. Um, I didn't do lava boost or anything here. It's like if you do the beginner lava boost where you triple jump, it saves a surprisingly small amount of time over going up the volcano. Uh, this way. You'd think it saves a lot, but it's like it's only a couple of seconds, I think. Less than 10. I know that much. Uh, if you notice at the end of reds there, I spammed C right. Just a small lag reduction. Um, but it's super easy because you're not pressing any other buttons at the time. So that'll wrap up LL. Next, we are going to go to HMC. Um, everything I did here, I think I, I simplified it quite a bit for the most part. You're not supposed to run on the fire like that, by the way, but it actually loses a really small amount of time, so not too big of a deal. You typically just do two long jumps. Um, yeah, we'll see what star I started off with here. I'm actually not too sure. Oh, actually, I know what I did. Because I took damage from the fire... Uh, I actually did this star first on purpose because pretty much every other star has some lag and since the health counter was up there since I took damage it actually would have lagged a little bit more so I saved a couple frames that way I guess star order really doesn't matter um, people in most cases that is um, there are certain ones where it does I'll try to explain those actually as I go as well um, I don't think there's actually been any yet where it has mattered, except for in Womp's Fortress, Owl is, or sorry, using the Owl uh, is the last star that you want to do. Um, you want to do the Fortress next to last because it causes a bunch of lag. So you want to do the Womp King and then the Fortress as late as possible. Um, so here I didn't go for the wall clip or anything. Oh no, I'm not doing that star, never mind. I did do Christmas Miracle here. Um, so Christmas Miracle, which is what this trick's called, um, you want to wall kick at the peak of your triple jump, so when you're as high up as possible. Uh, you want to get a semi-early wall kick, so you don't want to get like a 4th or 5th frame. Probably something like that, I don't know the actual numbers. Um, and then just hold A all the way, and if you land on the switch, you will, uh, you'll hit it like that. And this is the star where I was talking about that I didn't go for a wall clip. Um, personally, I, I, I'd probably recommend going for it, though. Um, I really don't see anything terrible that can happen from failing it. You either just fail it and basically do what I'm doing now, or you get it. This little bounce here is pretty cool.
Wiggle. Classic, I punched the toad. Um, I guess that's the beginner strat. The advanced strat is not to punch him. I'm just kidding. For the toad, you want to wait for his little blue vest or whatever he has on to be completely opaque. Um, so now I'm in Dire Dire Docks, um, this was hard to, like, my strats here are the same as you do as a beginner, but it, it takes a lot of time to learn to swim well. It's kind of like flying in that sense. Um, you definitely want to cut your corners close. Um, also the way chests work, um, basically they activate if you touch them and you're facing the back, like if you're facing behind them. Um... That information isn't that important for this star, but uh, it does help a little bit. It's super important for the chests in JRB where you're not in the water. Um, the sub, I'll uh, talk a bit here about leg reductions. They're definitely super important to get used to early. Leg reductions are actually a big part of this game. Um, so if you notice how I Mario cam before I enter and then go lack to cam as soon as uh, he hits the water, uh, that saves quite a bit of lag, and then up here you're going to see you want to keep the sub off the screen for as long as possible. So you start holding C left here, and uh, that actually saves you a lot of time in lag. Um, to swim fast, you have to press A in a rhythm. You don't mash as fast as you can, so that, that takes a bit of getting used to as well. Um, yeah, I held off on doing this side flip. It can be a bit tricky, but honestly, I'd, I'd probably side flip there. Doing that little quick turn like that though isn't isn't much slower either. And then the manta. So this can be very hard for beginners and very trolly. Um, you could argue that getting this first ring here is a pro strat, but I figure it's it's worth going for as a beginner. Because if you fail it, all you do is get the next ring. But if you get it, it's a bonus as a beginner. Um, so if you don't get that first ring, don't worry about it. Just try and get the next five. Um, if you miss one of the first six rings, um, they can be really trolly. So it definitely takes a bit of practice there. Uh, so next up's Fire Sea. I think I met. Yeah, I mess up here. <laughs> so that's normal cycle that I'm going to be getting. Um, with the strats that I'm doing otherwise, uh, you can get early Ellie's if you're kind of fast. But I, I, I think showing off normal cycles is the way to go anyways. Uh, there's a side flip here that people do that's kind of tough. I kind of I held off from that. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you do it or not. You're probably... It, well, until you're at the top. Like... Pretty much as a beginner, probably going to make normal cycle a lot. I got early enough to be able to grab that coin there, which saved a bit of time. But uh, you have a lot of time to spare for normal cycle, as you can see. I had to wait there for quite a while. And then this part is definitely kind of a gauntlet for beginners, but I feel like that's one of the simplest ways to do it, and that worked well for me as a beginner. That's what I always did as a beginner there. Was, uh, those two long jumps. If you learn to time that first one, you're going to land right over the red coin if you just hold up a little bit. So yeah, that'll uh, wrap up Fire Sea. I think I mess up here during the throw too. Like I hit the throw, but I think I take damage somehow. Which will lose me a bit of time.
Yeah, I jumped too late. But, uh, I still could have gotten the grab there, but I messed up, so that was still my bad. But, uh, hit the throw, so it's going to be giving us a 30, I'm going to say 28 key 2, judging by when I hit the throw there. I think it's 18 seconds after. Yeah, it'll be a 30-28. Also, I'm going to be posting the splits for this run in the description. I'm going to upload them, so if you want to compare to them or anything like that, um, they'll be there for you. So now we're going to go to what Dry World. Um, the 100 coin for this was kind of tough for me to decide what was a beginner strat and what wasn't. Um, I think I do things like pretty much the same, just slightly simplified in some spots. Because unfortunately, I think any anything that's kind of difficult in this 100, which it, there isn't too much, but uh, anything that is, like to avoid it and do something easier, you'd have to go way out of the way. So you might as well, like, even if you mess up doing this a couple times, it'd probably still be faster than anything out of the way. Also, that camera there was a mistake. I, I didn't mean to end up doing that, it just kind of happen that way. Um, so with this route, you can miss one coin. There aren't any great backups, so I missed my one there, so I have to hit get every coin from the Chukya. Yeah. I did that pretty safely. Um, you know, as a beginner, you don't have to cut your, your throw with the Chukya yeah very close. I ledge grab there on purpose. You can skip that pretty easily, though, too. Um, here, I didn't side flip right up. I, you probably can as a beginner. I can't remember what I did back then. But I jumped all the way up the cardboard boxes before side flipping. Um, if for some reason you do miss more than one coin, um, I'm going to show you. Hopefully they come in the camera. I don't know if they will actually. Okay, well, there's a box to the left of the star that's on the same wooden platform there, and that's where there's three coins, so you can get them as a backup. Uh, next up is the elevator star, which I think I mess up because I'm not used to the beginner strat for this. It's, it's another one of those ones. There's a couple that I'm really not that practiced with the beginner strats because I've been doing advanced strats for a while, and... Uh, yeah, I think I do something stupid here. Yeah, that. <laughs> but, uh... Is what it is. Um, these wall kicks are pretty, honestly pretty safe. You know, it, it's one of those things that you can go for them. If you bonk, if as long as, especially if you side-flipped um, off of the bottom plank there, uh, if you miss them, you're just going to land back on it and you can wait, so... You know, in very rare occasions, you might go all the way down, but they're worth trying, I'd say. Um, so if you notice there, it's probably hard to notice, but before I touched that wall to teleport, I basically held forward on the wall for a split second and then let go, and that made it so that I could teleport instantly, as opposed to, if you don't do that, there'll be like a small animation of Mario landing and then like, sort of standing up straight again, and then he'll teleport. So it saves a little bit of time. It's one of those really easy ones. And actually, that's one thing I forgot to mention with uh, the elevator star. Um, when you're going up that ramp from the triple jump, just roll your thumb from B to A really quick, and he will run up really quickly like he did. Um, so next up is THI. Um, I actually kind of, I do like a slight variant of the pro strat here for secrets because I think you can mess up the pro strat really bad and still be faster in the beginner strat. Pay attention to the camera that I did there at the start, and that made it so you can literally just hold straight up for that uh, triple jump wall kick. Um, but yeah, I, I decided to go with this because I actually messed it up, but... Um, I feel like the odds of dying are the same for both the beginner strat and pro strat. 
and you have to mess up the pro strat pretty bad to be slower than the beginner strat, in my opinion. So you might as well just do that. I personally turn the camera like this before entering THI every time, so I can just keep holding down after doing no save and continue. Um, so the camera for the next two stars, I just Mario cam and then see down and see right as soon as I get in, and it sets it up pretty good for both of them. Alright, so coming up next is TTM. Um, for the Toad Star here, uh, you're going to notice I jump dive here and I turn around and get him from the back there. Um, you get a bit of time, and actually going around back like that um, saves a lot of time actually from lag, believe it or not. And since you have that little buffer where you have to wait for him to become fully solid colored, um, you can go around there in the meantime. Um, so this clip, it's kind of hard to explain. You're going to notice... I, there's a certain spot on the mountain. There's like a, a certain seam. You can see it. It's kind of hard when you're just watching the run. But like if you go there, you can see it. Um, and you just get a bit of speed. And then you go up and you press B. Or you can jump dive through there. Um, I figured just diving is a better beginner way. And then just by swimming where I am, it clips Mario up. Um, so I'm going to do it again here. It's kind of hard to, to really just point out in this amount of time. Um, but they're really spending more time kind of showing it off with the gameplay, but hopefully you can see it here. And you can get a pretty good idea of where I swim here. And then once again, this is a strat I'm not used to, so I did it pretty slowly. Next up is red coins. This star is definitely tough to do fast. Honestly, it's just a tough star in general. It doesn't really matter what strat you do. Um, doing this star quickly is definitely kind of tough. I took the mushrooms pretty safe here, just doing some jumps. But uh, yeah, with some practice, you can definitely get that down. And everyone messes that star up. Myself included. Um, it's unfortunately just kind of one of those ones that no matter what, it's going to be kind of difficult. Uh, next up is the box star. Um, so just pay close attention to the way that I reset the camera before I grab the box. You want the camera to be a specific way. So like that. That'll set your angle. And then, yeah, you just kind of watch the input display. You'll see I hold left pretty much until the third bounce, just before, and then you hold right. Um, it's all notched angles, so it's definitely not too bad. And last up, we just have the breeze here. Which I think I took safe. I went around the chuck, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
think I messed this up. Yeah. Another strat I'm not used to, but... That start can be tough. Um, just make sure when you wall kick from that side flip at the start that you're pretty much at the peak of your side flip. You have to be kind of high to hit that second wall. But uh, it's not too bad of a star for the most part. I think I do reds next. Yeah. Um, so yeah, use this hill here to build up your speed. And then doing those jumps um, can be faster optimally. I think on average it's probably around the same for most people. But if you uh, if you can time jumps, like big jumps first frame, uh, you can definitely save a bit of time there. And then here I just slide kick into the star if it's hard to tell. This star is pretty much the same. Roll from the freezing pond. Um, you just don't jump dive over this hill. Um, you just do a jump and then you slide down. I think I missed the star here. Yeah, very slightly, but... You get the gist of it. And then the next two stars are pretty much... Uh, pretty much the same as what a pro would do. Um, now this star, I kind of... I didn't really think about it till after. But... Um, Jumping back into the star like that is kind of advanced, I guess. Um, if you want to just land from the rollout here and then turn around and jump into the star, it works. But honestly, learning to like back up and jump into it there isn't too hard. I remember I didn't do it for the longest time, but once I learned it, I found out it's actually really, really easy. But obviously, I didn't. I had pretty good knowledge of the game at the time I did learn it, so I can't really vouch for beginners. And that star is pretty self-explanatory. Definitely takes some getting used to. Surprisingly hard star <laughs> for being like five seconds. But So last up we have Tippy. Um, I tried to go pretty safe here for the most part. Um, it's pretty much all the beginner strats I think I did. Um, there's one part in Rainbow Ride that looks really hard that's actually super easy. And I'll explain that when we get there for Tricky Triangles. Um, honestly, triple jump diving up there isn't that hard, but I opted not to do it. Um, so first up is Cruiser. This star is very hard for beginners. Um, this is the beginner strat, and a lot of people struggle with it. It's one of the harder stars when you're first learning. Um, this part's not too bad for them. It's they're, the long jump here from the plank that's right here is uh make sure you ledge grab there and then long jump pretty much right at that one up and you'll land there and ledge grab definitely takes a bit of getting used to but uh i i wouldn't recommend dropping it for other stars um because you're gonna have to learn it eventually if you want to get better and the earlier you do it i'd say the better um next up i do tricky triangles so this long jump, just make sure you have speed from the previous long jump. That jump's pretty easy. So right there, it looks like you're going to hit the flame. It looks super precise. It's actually not. Um, make sure you jump dive when you're about halfway down that first uh, first plank that drops. And unless you get like the dustiest dive in the world, you will not hit that flame and you'll make it. That was one of those strats that I didn't do for a long time, and then when I found out like how simple it actually was, I was I was shocked. Reds I think I mess up here, but I actually back it up pretty well. I was kinda proud of this backup if I recall. Yeah, I missed that red. Okay. That's not really anything to be proud about, but it's a backup nonetheless.
And last up is Swinging in the Breeze. Um, I remember having a hard time learning this star as a beginner. Um, the triple jump at the end is kind of tough. But I'll kind of try and explain it here. Um, so if you triple jump, you basically want to hit the top, very top of that flame thing and you'll make it up. But there's a bit of leeway. But uh, yeah, that was one that I found tough as a beginner. All right, last up is TikTok Clock. So for those of you that don't know, time is stopped if you enter when the minute hands on the 12. It's random when it's 3. Or sorry, it's random when it's 6. Um, if it's between 12 and 6, things go slow. And if it's between 6 and 12, they go fast. Um, for the beginner route, I did all time stop. Um, so yeah, you see I get an extra red there, so you can miss two coins now throughout this. And yeah, I tried to take things really slow and methodical here. Just to kind of show you, like, this star isn't that scary. You can break it down. I'm going to take my time getting this. Um, I don't know if I even recommend doing what I'm about to do here. But it's an option, that ledge grab. It... Yeah, I don't know what I was doing here. But honestly, I'd probably recommend just doing what the pros do. The triple jump wall kick around. Yeah, I'd, I definitely took things really slow here. <laughs> A lot of mistakes as well. Um, you don't have to do the box kick here if you slide kick. Like, you land perfectly, so... Just an option. Trying to keep things really kind of easy to follow there. Um, and don't forget, you can miss two coins. I, I actually didn't end up doing it there. And it's pretty easy to get to the second star as well. Um, if you just triple jump wall kick and then... You take your time there with that womp, but it just happened to be kind of in a tight cycle there, so I I did a quick side flip. Um, this star here, uh, time jumps on moving bars. This is one I kind of forgot to do the beginner stuff. And, and I didn't realize until after, but it's really not much different. Like, this pretty much is the beginner strat. Um, that triple jump is very tough for beginners, but it's pretty well unavoidable in the speedrun. Um, here, where I jump and then do this, you can also just side flip from the bottom up to the third little bar there, and then ledge grab and go up, so it's up to you. Um, I personally never did that, I don't think. As a beginner, like, I always did the long jump wall kick that I did in this run. And here I think I try to show off all the different kind of movements you can do. So I started off by, like, just doing jump kicks up there. And then I think the... Because you, you have to do that same area three times. And I think I tried to show off all the different things you can do. Kind of ranging from kind of scary to not at all. Like what I did there was probably the easiest you can do. Um, let's see what I do this time around. Yeah, so there I pretty much do the same thing. I just skip the ledge grab from the wall kick. I think that ledge grab was unintentional. Definitely easily skippable. And then on the last star here, or the last where you do that, I'll do a long jump wall kick that's personally kind of scary and I don't think I really ever did it as a beginner, but it's an option. A lot of beginners do do it, so um, it's kind of up to you. I figured I'd show it off just so you can kind of decide for yourself this long jump wall kick here because that angle isn't notched so i found it kind of tough I tried to wall kick there and had no luck all right so we have one star left in ttc uh, we just have reds and then we have toad and then we're going up to the end so i think at this point i was probably low 52 pace Uh, I think I mess up bits a little bit. I 
Only like mid low 52 pace. So, yeah, definitely not the greatest TTC there. I definitely made a lot of mistakes, uh, especially in 100 coin, but um, not too big of a deal. Uh, lots of things can go wrong in that stage, unfortunately, no matter what kind of strats you do. Same with Rainbow Rides, so definitely got to practice them quite a bit. And then there I didn't think I was going to make it up, so I held back. Now we're in bits. Um, took things pretty safe here, to be honest. I didn't do this triple jump wall kick at all. Not too bad with a bit of practice. A lot of beginners definitely do it, but doesn't lose much time to not do it either, so it's up to you. Here's where I think I mess up. I think I mess up this... Yeah, right there, so I slide, but... Pretty quick backup. Actually, I kind of wanted to show this off. If you fail that, you mash B as hard as you can at the bottom of that pole, and he'll grab. Um, you have to mash very quickly, but with a bit of practice, it's definitely not bad. And now we're going into throws. I think I missed the second one. I did this run earlier today, like of probably seven or eight hours ago, so my memory's a bit off. Let's see here. Yeah, so that one's a miss right there. I'm unfortunately terrible at throws, like. I think anyone at my skill level is definitely a lot better than me at throws. I should probably practice them more than I do. But yeah, there's the last one, so... 52-42, not bad. Um, while I wrap this up here, I just want to say, first off, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope this helps you out a lot. Um, I'm going to post the splits in the description. I'm going to post uh, my Twitch channel if you ever have questions. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> my controller switcher wasn't working. And for some reason, I switched controllers back to my regular one. And it uh, it didn't switch, so I actually had to unplug it and plug it back in. So I lost a few seconds because of that. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to put my uh, Twitch in the description. Uh, if I'm ever streaming and you want to come in and ask me questions, feel free. Uh, if you want like a live answer, feel free to comment on this video with any questions. Um, I'll be happy to answer any. Um, if you're looking for some resources to practice and stuff, I'll link uh, speedrun.com. And I'll link uh, this game's page. There's a lot of guides and stuff you can go through on top of this. Um, so I'll put all that kind of stuff in the description. Um, if you need any more assistance at all, uh, feel free to, to comment or anything like that. And... Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. everybody. Let's bake a delicious cake. For Mario.
so much for to playing my game.